So let's do a couple of problems so you can see how completing the square works to get us from a standard form back to vertex form. Okay. Our first equation is y is equal to x squared plus ax plus 5. Okay, in this form, we have the y-intercept information here. For this parabola, the y-intercept is 5. But now we want to find the vertex. We can go through the manipulations here, or we can simply complete the square and then have the vertex spill out as we convert this to vertex form. So here we go. All right, this doesn't work by itself. We say y plus something in a box is equal to x squared plus 8x plus something in a box plus 5. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to deal with this part right here, turn it into a perfect square trinomial. Half of 8x, 4. 4 squared is 16. Add 16 to both sides. There's no parentheses to influence this 16, so that's what it is on both sides. We have the x here. This is positive, so this is a positive inside the binomial. And it's all squared. y plus 16 is equal to x plus 4, quantity all squared, plus 5. So we restated it like this. The next step is to get y by itself. So we will subtract 16 from both sides. And this side gives us the y by itself. So we get y is equal to x plus 4 quantity all squared. This becomes negative 11. And we're done. We now have vertex form for this parabola, which was expressed in standard form. The vertex here is opposite sign, negative 4, negative, same sign, negative 11. That's the vertex for this parabola expressed here in standard form. We only got there by completing the square. Let's do another.